In this part, we're going to make the torso, and we're going to make that out of a cube. First of all, though, I'm just going to turn off some of these grids because I've just had a look, and it's not coming across very well on video with the grids, so we'll get rid of those. We don't need them. In fact, we'll kill that one as well. So, that gets us started. Now, what we're going to do is create a cube then. You can see that it's tiny, tiny, minuscule. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll just make it a bit bigger so that it's roughly in the right place and the right size. So I'm just going to move it up a bit as well. And then I'm just going to make some changes to it. But first of all, let's give it a name. So we'll call it Torso because that's what it is. And then I'm just going to start making changes so that it pretty much matches up. So you can see that I need to just move that forward a bit. Like that. One mode that you might find useful while you're working like this is if you go to shading and go to x-ray. It's wireframe, but it does kind of show a little bit of shading as well. So it can be quite good for just getting that sorted. And then I can see it's a little bit too tall. So we'll go for that. That gets it close enough. Yeah, that'll do it. And it's starting to show now that the images aren't necessarily perfectly centered, which is annoying because I put a center line on the image in Photoshop. So I'm not sure why it's being this way, but we'll just have to use a bit of common sense. It's fine. Okay, next thing we want to do is put a center line on this torso cube. So subdivision's width needs to change into two. There we go. And then we can start making some changes to this. So one thing that we need to be aware of, let's just put this onto X-ray as well. There's a bit of a flare here, and we're not going to be able to get that without another edge loop. So I'm going to go to this tool here, which is the multi-cut tool. And then whilst I'm in this view, I'm just going to make it active by clicking somewhere in it. And you can see now that the tool is active. And I'm going to hold control, and that will now tell me that I can put in a whole edge loop. And I'm going to aim for about there. It's pretty good. Okay. What I want to do next then is set about getting this shape about right. And I'm going to do that mostly in vertex mode. So let's put my move tool on. And then I'm going to select whole rows and just scale them where I think I want to. So I want to do that there. I'll probably flare this out a little bit. And the top does want flaring out even more. So I'm going to do that. And then... I'm going to leave, in fact, let's just move this row down a touch. So it's just touching the top there. And then these vertices on the side, so I'm, I'll show you in this view here so you can see what I've got selected and what I haven't. There you go. So I've got one, two, three, four, but not the two in the middle. And that's so that I can now bring them down. Like so. You can see this matches up here, but that's too far out. So what I'm going to do is just bring it in a little bit to kind of go somewhere in the middle. And that is a damn fine start to our shape. What I want to do is round it out a little bit as well. And I'll do that in edge mode. So let's go into edge mode. And I'm going to double click on that edge there. Now holding shift, I'll double click on that edge. And the two on the other side. And what that means is that now in this view, and I'm actually paying attention to this face here, I'm going to round it off. But what I kind of want to do with that is get this face here to be pretty square. And the reason for that is that it will become a better circle later if I make it square now. So that's pretty good. And at this stage, I'm gonna make my first preview of that shape. So if we press three, that's kind of how the torso is looking so far. So it's not quite there yet, but as we add more detail to it and maybe even crease some edges, this will start to come together. So now we'll create the area for the arms to attach. So I'm gonna press one again. And now I want what I do on this side to be reflected on this side. So we're going to use mirroring. To do that, I'm going to open my modeling toolkit, which can access with this icon up here. Within this tool, you can see that we have symmetry. And I'm going to turn that on for object X. And now if I go into face mode, and you can see that if I select any face, the one on the opposite side is highlighted as well. So I'm going to click on this face here. And then what I want to do is do an extrusion. So I'm going to do Control and E. And then by clicking and dragging on the word offset of this little gizmo that pops up, I'm going to put that kind of offset on it there. That's pretty good. And then I need one more extrusion, Control E again. 
and this time we're going to go into a minus number on the thickness to create a bit of a cavity. It's like a socket for it to plug into. And then we'll just double check that that's happened on the other side. It has. We're good to go. I might not have it quite that thick. Let's just push that back a bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so back into object mode. We'll press 3 again. And now that we've done that, that's starting to look a lot better. That's pretty good. So there's just a few refinements that we need to make now. And I'll do that by leaving this um, smooth preview on. And I'm also going to leave mirroring on as well so that I can work on this side and know that it's also happening on the other side. So let's go into edge mode and see that this edge here, put my move tool on, really needs to go up here to fill out the shape. That's working pretty well. And then we'll get this edge here and we'll do something similar to make the chest shape look a bit better. That's nice. I'll do something similar at the bottom. This one doesn't round out quite as well, so that's fine. Uh, but it will do later because we're going to use another method. So that kind of does that. I also want to see how it's looking in this mode. And we can see that it's not quite as I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to bring this out a little bit here. So we get a bit more of that flaring going on. Yep, that looks nice. And then for this top corner, uh, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so now let's put this back into object mode and press 1. Make sure that the shape's not gone too peculiar anywhere. Uh, no, I think that looks good. That will do it for the torso then. So we have created our shape, we've named it, and we're going to leave this smooth preview on so that we know what we're working with going forward. Um, in fact, I am going to make one more change because I want the bottom to be a little bit flatter, I think. So what we'll do is we'll go into edge mode and I'm going to select all the edges around the bottom like that. And I'll get, I'll leave the middle one. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go into mesh tools, turn on the crease tool like that. And then it tells you how to use it. Select components to crease and then drag middle mouse button. So click and drag with your middle mouse button. And you can see that it kind of hardens those edges a little bit. And we only want to do it a bit. That'll be fine. Yeah. And that just makes that a little bit sharper. Back into object mode. Okay, so that is our torso complete. In the next step then, we will be taking a look at how we construct the head. I'm able to continue making these videos thanks to the ongoing support of my amazing patron community. If you'd also like to support Game Dev Academy via Patreon, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you.